has been a lot of patent litigation in Germany involving standard essential patents. The big issue in this is, can the patent owner request an injunction against the patent infringer? And uh, there has been an important decision by the Federal Supreme Court in 2009 deciding that indeed um, the user has to give an acceptable license offer to the patentee and if he does this and meets certain other criteria then indeed uh, an injunction cannot be claimed. And this case law has after that been widely and strictly applied by the lower instance courts in Germany. And then, in parallel, uh, some time ago, the European Commission in Brussels uh, stepped in um, and started two very important investigations, uh, which lead it to uh, decisions handed down earlier this year. And there, the Commission applied a slightly different approach, um, uh, which rather looks at the willingness of the standard user to negotiate or to take a license. In Europe, there are many patent cases pending currently where this issue is of importance. The regional court Düsseldorf has indeed referred one of our cases for our client Huawei to the European Court of Justice requesting the ECJ to decide how the European law has to be applied on this scenario. And the European Court of Justice will then hand down general principles uh, on this very issue, uh, which national courts throughout Europe will then have to apply to further uh, shape the case law and specify uh, the specific preconditions. The questions actually uh, centered around uh, the problem that the German courts had a certain approach and the European Commission had a, a wider, more flexible approach. Uh, it is in principle, the devil is in the detail, but in principle it is about the issue whether a specific license agreement uh, and some further preconditions have to be fulfilled by the standard user on the one side or whether it is sufficient to demonstrate willingness to negotiate and to take a license on the other side. The hearing was quite big and, and, and very formal. Besides the parties, the European Commission and two member states, Finland and the Netherlands, gave uh, their pleadings. And it was a big audience, um, 100 spectators, judges from member states, representatives of high-tech companies, lawyers and other interested parties. It was, uh, it was quite a remarkable day. In high-tech industries, standards are of big importance. This case is about the interface between IP monopoly rights on one side and competition law on the other side. And this case will give guidance on the delimitation between both. And I think we at Bird & Bird are particularly well placed to blend together expertise from our strong IP practice with uh, our knowledge in European competition law to serve clients exactly at that interface between IP and competition.